Hi there, it's uh, Dominic from the International Office at the University of Aberdeen here and welcome to your lockdown campus tour. Before we begin, I should just say that I live next door to campus and this is my daily exercise adhering to all social distancing as we go. But I thought as I go for my walk today, I could maybe show you a little bit around the uni and tell you a little bit about it. So here we are at the beginning. This is the high street. This cobbled street here that goes all the way up. And I would always say when I'm giving campus tours that if you can find the high street on campus, you'll never be lost because it basically divides our campus in half. So we've got everything behind me at the moment, which is arts and humanities. And then when we get to the other side of the road, it's all of our mathematics, computing science, and the energy and oil and gas programs that many people know us for. But since we're here, let's maybe start at the very oldest bit of campus. So we are on the, the King's College campus, as it's called, and we're looking here at the beautiful chapel. And outside we have the tomb to Bishop Elphinstone, who's the founder of the university when we were founded a long time back in 1495. And though you might have seen, we've just celebrated a pretty big birthday. So we were 525 earlier in the year. So it's incredible to think that these buildings date back to right at the beginning, especially at the chapel. But let's, let's walk and I'll show you around. So we're going to walk into what's known as the quad and inside the quad we have our conference centre that we often have big festivals like our usually our word festival in May and um, we also do some teaching in our business school there as well but also in the quad we've got some brand new um, teaching spaces which only opened just before the pandemic and they are absolutely Stunning. So here we are, and the building just here, this wing, now has two lecture theatres, one on the bottom, one on the first floor, looking on to the quad, and they're absolutely stunning. And we've got the chapel on this side, so if you come to campus, you might hear our amazing choir practising. It's a glorious day today, really sunny. But one of the things we often get asked about our campus is, how big is it? Is it easy to get around? Will it take me a long time to get from my class to the library? And I think hopefully you'll get a sense from this that the campus is really compact. Everything we teach, with the exception of medicine, is on our campus here at King's. And I would say, even if you walk at a leisurely pace, no more than maybe five or six minutes. So the unicorn and I will be ready and waiting to welcome you to campus when it's safe to reopen. So this is the conference centre just inside here. And from this point of the quad, we can cut through So we're now coming to a part of campus that you'll become very familiar with. And again, these might be some of the pictures you've seen of the campus, maybe from our prospectuses or our website or some of the e-zines we've sent you. So these are the cloisters that look on to the lawn. Normally, in weather like this, you would see staff and students sitting outside on their laptops, maybe with a coffee. A lot, little bit quieter today. But this is also a space that we hold graduations in the summer. Um, it also be where we hold examinations in Elphinstone Hall, which is the last door underneath the cloisters here. You can fit about 400 people in that for exams. So it doesn't really matter what subject you're studying, you would likely have an exam in ELF, as we call it. But you might also have been there for a wedding, maybe in the past. 
We do lots of cool functions like that in there too. But graduations would be a time that we would obviously welcome graduands and their family to come to campus and often we make great use of this space here. Big marquee outside, um, loads of students, our international students in their national dress. And it might be the first time that our students' parents have been on campus. So it's great for them to be right in the heart of things. It's one of my favorite places to, to come. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk through campus We'll maybe start at the playing pitches where our rugby team and stuff play so you get a glimpse of our Olympic Sports Village and from there we'll go up to the Students Association I'll tell you a little bit about that and then we'll cut down and we'll finish at the library and I'll maybe show you a few secret parts of campus as we walk since it's such an amazing day to be out and about Traffic lights is the, the entrance. So if you've ever been visiting campus on a Wednesday afternoon, you might have heard the shouting and the roaring. It might well have been for the rugby team that we're playing here. So we do not have any classes on a Wednesday afternoon. They're kept free for clubs and societies. So you might have been here and as I'd said, rugby, cricket, lacrosse, and just in the distance, if you can see the white domed roof, above the rugby posts, that's Aberdeen Sports Village. And just to the left of that is our aquatic centre, Olympic Swimming Pool. So we have some absolutely sensational sports facilities here, both indoor and out. And these pitches really are in the absolute centre of campus. What a great space. So this is us, still right in the heart of campus. My office is in here, normally. We'll walk past it, make sure it's all still okay. Normally I would go in there in the office, that's me. <laughs> so we're just going to cut through campus up to uh, the Students Association. Um, but uh, this statement here, you might have seen also on our website celebrating our 525th birthday. This is our foundational purpose, which was written, as I mentioned back at the beginning, by our founder, Bishop Elphinstone. And I think in many ways that sums up 
the university's mission, what we are here to do. Open to all and dedicated to the pursuit of truth in the service of others. And I think during the current pandemic, we've seen a lot of examples of university research being granted funding by the government to see how we can all come out of this stronger. And that cuts across many, many different subject areas. And that's something we're really proud of. As a research intensive university, this is an important time for us to pull together and pull the best minds and thinking into how we can emerge from this stronger. So this might be the way that you would walk if you had arrived from campus in the morning and you were going to the hub and you'll see the hub in a minute but that's where our students association is based and it's also where our central part on campus for eating and drinking is which is good if you're hungry but the campus is full of little shortcuts to get from one side to the other If you're a business school student, you might well be in here for some of your classes. It's also where many of our colleagues in IT services are based. That's the noise from the servers and things. So once you become familiar with campus, you'll know all of these shortcuts yourselves. But this is probably my fav favorite one. Just tucked up here. I'd hardly walk past it and know it was here. A very peaceful little spot, a little fountain. Quite often, we would find some of our academics or students here just sitting and chatting away from the hustle and bustle. Beautiful, especially with the blossom and stuff out at the moment. Those of you with a keen eye might spot we're away to come back on to the cobbled street, which is of course the high street. So we've just done a bit of a loop, starting from down there, back further up the high street. And this is a good point to point out the info hub. So when you first arrive and you need to get your ID card or you need to register for classes, or we need to take a photocopy of your passport. It's all the fantastic team from InfoHub that will be doing that. So you'll become quite familiar with the, the team in there. And again, another shortcut from here, we're just gonna cut up the side. walking up the side of St Mary's here. All the buildings have different names, they have different academic units that are based within them. I quite often get lost in this building. It's upstairs, downstairs. Geography, that's who's based here. And that's embarrassing to say I get lost in that building because I've worked here for 15 years. True story.
So as we can see from the sign on the side of the building, we have reached AUSA. It's what we call the Students' Association here. And they are based in this building here, which is the hub. So in terms of if you're hungry, then there's Mexican, there's vegetarian, there's traditional food, there's ramen, there's noodles, there's a terrific selection all based within there. So the top floor in the hub is also where our colleagues in careers are based. So if you're looking for some assistance getting a part-time job or if you'd like some interview practice or for someone to take a look at your CV and help you prepare that for applying for a job, perhaps over the summer, they are the people that can help for that. And then from here, we are literally a stone's throw to our amazing library. Walk this way. So our library was formally opened in 2012 by Her Majesty the Queen and it's called the Sir Duncan Rice Library, um, so named after one of our former principals. But the view you can get from the top floor, looking back as we are the, straight down that way to the sea, is absolutely magnificent. This has already been voted one of the world's top spellbinding university libraries and has also won all sorts of other environmental awards. We collect all the rainwater from the library and use that to flush the bathrooms as well. So it's a terrific space. A lot of it you can't actually see because it's underground. You might notice there's a very gradual slope leading up to it. So underneath in the basement of the library it is temperature and humidity controlled. Many of the manuscripts and the books we have are absolutely priceless and if we let them out in the normal air they would, um, they would be destroyed. So some fantastic facilities um, inside the library. And on either side of me here we have engineering in the Fraser Noble building and we have geology in this side here in Meston. And really, this is a sort of a, a, the sciencey side of campus that would also include mathematics, our research grouping and that is strong. But a lot of the times when people think of Aberdeen, they maybe think of the things we're doing in energy research. So that might be carbon capture and storage, it might be remediation, it could be subsea technologies. In fact, we launched the world's first master's program in decommissioning. So this is where really a lot of our experts come together related to energy research. But that's a whistle stop tour of campus with some of the highlights. Uh, I hope you found that helpful. Hope you got a sense of the scale of campus and how compact it is, but also how amazing it is. And um, we look forward to welcoming you here when it's safe to do so. So in the meantime, take care.